when you open up the small volume nebulizer, uh, all these parts are in there. And this is something that we typically don't do as EMTs, but advanced EMTs and paramedics can administer albuterol. As an EMT, you may be assisting your partner with it, or you may assist the patient with it. Um, <clears throat> I usually start by trying to assemble all the, the small pieces. This key piece goes on that, and then on each side, they have pieces. One, the mouthpiece is what the patient's going to breathe in and out of. And this is just a, a reservoir of the material. Um, I don't want to assemble it yet because i got to put the medication in this. And this is where it gets a little tricky in the back of the ambulance where you don't spill this. Your nebule is here, and it'll twist off the top. And then you can squirt it into the container. At this point, I usually screw it on. And if the patient can hold it, I'll let the patient hold it. If not, you may have to do it for them. But I'm now going to hook this up to oxygen. And I normally do it at about five to six liters. You go much higher than that, you run the risk of putting too much pressure in this and blowing that apart, which makes a really loud noise, scares your patient, sometimes scares your partner, scares you a little bit too, so I don't recommend it. Um, but at this point, I'm gonna turn it up to about five. You'll hear it and you'll see that it's beginning to have some mist on each end. Then you will let your patient breathe that in and out until all of this is gone. Again, if you have to hold it, then you're stuck here. Um, hopefully your patient can hold it and you won't have to stay like this for the entire five to 10 minutes while it, it goes through all the medication. Advise your patient that they're gonna feel a little anxious and, and jittery after this. And then you wanna reassess your vital signs, make sure you listen to your lungs, monitor your pulse ox, and put them back on oxygen as needed.